formation of bacterial colony element that is reproduction in bacteria so bacteria generally reproduces by binary fission that means bacteria it splits into two new bacteria so in that mode of reproduction it develops it grows in number so the formation of bacterial colony colony in the sense group of bacteria thousands of thousands of bacteria are grown in milk we know the process of curding curding of the milk adding some curd sample to the milk it turns to curd so here we are taking two bowls and we are taking one spoon of curd one spoon of curd and in this we are taking 30 spoons of milk here also 30 spoons of milk and one spoon of curd sample being added to the 30 spoons of milk so it looks similar in both the cases here also 30 spoons of milk here also 30 spoons of milk here one spoon of curd here one spoon of curd then what is the difference why we have taken two in one case we are taking the cold milk in the other case we are taking the warm lukewarm milk this is the cold milk so now we have added the samples and we covered it and kept it aside for some time after some time if you observe this in case of the warm milk the milk which you have taken is turned into curd that means it indicates the bacteria has grown up in sufficient number to make the milk to curd so that is happened here but what about the cold milk no curding takes place because the temperature is not favorable for the growth for the reproduction of the bacteria which are there in the sample we added we added the sample means we had added the bacteria to the milk but the bacteria could not turn the milk to curd because they could not grow in number they could not reproduce as the temperature is not favorable whereas in this case the temperature is favorable so it is warm having the optimum temperature for the growth of bacteria so the milk is turned to curd so this shows that the rate of reproduction is controlled by the environmental factors in cases like bacteria and we see the other examples also like yeast do you find yeast in a hot summer do you find yeast in a dry uh, places open places no we find the yeast we find the molds we find the uh, mushrooms in the dark and damp places in humid conditions so in such places you find them growing so environmental factors uh, environmental conditions are also one of the factor that influence the rate of reproduction the possibility of reproduction in certain organisms even uh, we see the insects flies generally they grow in the uh, they rapidly grow in the rainy season they reproduce and they hatch in a large number like a swarm it comes out but where where are they in the other seasons so when the conditions are favorable they germinate uh, that they grow they reproduce in a large number so the rate is very high depending upon the environmental factors in cases like this yeast or certain kind of insects and flies or in bacteria we have seen how these uh, other factors the physical factors like temperature so that uh, moisture humidity light or darkness how these things are affecting the rate of reproduction in these organisms